Well hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kim's here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about NEO stock and a NEO day summary. But I also want to share you guys another NEO catalyst for NEO stock to move forward in the next couple months. I will show you guys their earning date for their Q4 2020. For those of you who are new to my channel, consider subscribing by clicking that red button right here. And please drop a like on this video as it really help out my channel and help with the YouTube algorithm. That way my content will get pushed out to more people and make sure you turn on that bell notification make sure you select all that way you don't miss any of my videos i make videos weekly actually multiple videos weekly while you're down there please go ahead and check out some Weeble links where you can get four free stocks for the month of january up until january 15 they're giving out four free stocks valuing anywhere between $22 up to $3,700. If you deposit $100 or more with Webull, you get uh, four free stocks. So claim those free stocks before the promotion expires. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, NEO Day is finally over and NEO finally officially launched their ET7, which is their newest sedan that will be available in Q1 2022. I thought it was going to be at the end of this year, but I guess Q1 2022 is not that far away from now. Like I said in my previous video, if you haven't seen that, uh, go ahead and check it out here. My NEO price prediction after one week of NEO day. So if you want to get more detail, go ahead and check out that video. But NEO also announced their new solid battery pack, uh, which uh, has 150 kilowatt hour and their range has extended dramatically. And NEO also launched their battery swapping station to 2.0 now they have 14 slots and by the end of this year they're looking to expand their battery swapping station to about 500 swapping station that's huge and uh, hopefully they can achieve that by the end of this year and the cool thing about this new battery swapping station 2.0 it is automatic so you can click a button and it will automatically park i believe before there's there has to be a service uh, attendant for the battery swap to happen but now i guess those people don't need to be there they can automate this and their neo car will automatically back in and swap the battery by the way this new battery swapping station has the capability of swapping 312 batteries per day which is three times more than the previous model and according to my research this new battery power station is able to handle their old previous battery with the 70 84 100 as well as their new 150 kilowatt hour battery but their newest battery which has the longest range that neo has to offer uh, won't be available until the end of 2022 if you think about it that's almost uh, two years from now but uh, still this is huge i don't know if you guys remember quantum scape their stock went up like crazy recently it dipped quite a bit that is expected because you know it went up too too fast and quantum scape has a solid battery technology that they're developing as well it's not ready for mass production just yet i believe they're three to four years out and from the presentation neo said that they're adopting this new technology so really they're partnering up with another company most likely uh, it's cattle and catl also provide battery for mercedes bmw as well as tesla in China and this is my only concern with the new battery uh, their new battery is a solid battery but the thing is uh, with cattle you know providing their battery to other auto company as well cattle could run into production issue providing all these solid batteries this new solid battery technology will be hot and I believe other automaker will definitely want to get their hands on them as well so all right me so let's get down he wants to be in the video again. This new battery is going to be awesome because now uh, people have the option to you know, buy the vehicle separately and just lease the battery. And if they want to have a longer range, they can just swap it out and pay monthly for the new and upgraded battery. And the thing is with the new ET7, it won't come with that new battery because it won't be available until the end of 2022. But still, uh, technology is coming and it's coming quick. I mean, take a look at 2020. I mean, even though it was a rough year, but it went by quick. So uh, hopefully 2021 will be better for us and better for NEO and those of us who invest in NEO stock. Now let's talk about the star of the show, the ET7. If you take a look uh, from the previous uh, model that they announced back in 2019, uh, they updated a little bit. It does look cleaner in my personal opinion. Uh, the front grille, I, they removed it. I'll put up the comparison between the concept car and the production car 
in this video so you can see and take a look and with the ET7 it has a bunch of new sensors I believe they have uh, 8 megapixel uh, camera sensor compared to 1.3 megapixel that Tesla has so with this new sensor and this new camera resolution improvement it will definitely be able to provide users safer driving experience because now uh, the Neo car can see further and clear on top of that I believe they added a uh, new LiDAR sensor like I said previously in my video uh, the LiDAR sensor company is uh, Innovox uh, I don't know how to say it I'll leave the name up here uh, it's not that well known so I'm not sure why Neo went with that company they could have you know picked uh, Alster or something <laughs> which I am bullish about and I made a video about Alster LiDAR company check out my stock analysis on CLA or Colonnade acquisition company which is merging with Alster LiDAR technology company so check it out here if you haven't seen it already back to Neo and their car they will equip this new 2022 uh, model the ET7 with LiDAR technology I believe in the middle of the ET7 in the front uh, they have a long range LiDAR so that way it can see further so in case you know the, the rain or sometimes uh, sunlight reflection the camera cannot see it really really well the lidar will come in personally I believe lidar technology will eventually go mainstream and other automaker will adopt it too because uh, why limit yourself with just radar and camera where you can have another additional sensor just to give you more data just in case you need it uh, Neo is moving the same direction with uh, Xpeng in December they also announced that they're going to equip their new 2021 car model with LiDAR sensor as well and who knows maybe Li1 Auto will do the same for their Li1 SUV as well later this year and I'll be honest with you guys last night I tried to stay awake for this uh, Neo day but the whole event was like three hours and I was waiting and waiting in the beginning uh, this woman was walking around speaking in Mandarin I didn't understand any of it and after they have this Neo ban and after they have this story of the pandemic and how this pandemic affected people and uh, driving anyways I didn't watch any of that I actually fell asleep last night right before uh, the event started 40 minutes or so of Neo event I think they could have uh, made it way shorter they should just cut to the chase and you know get to the meat of the event which is the ET7 anyways I woke up the next morning uh, I think like 6 or 7 and watched some recap and that's uh, that's when I thought that wow the new ET7 definitely looks sexy to me I'm definitely excited for Monday because when the stock market open up uh, well 6 a.m. here that's when the pre-market open uh, hopefully Neo will go up and actually have a $45 option call on Neo hopefully uh, it goes up to 60 or $70 and I'm not gonna be greedy I'll probably close out my Neo call position uh, Monday or Tuesday because usually after the news uh, the stock you know could drop but either way I believe that next week uh, some point next week Neo could hit up to $65 a share this is just my personal prediction there's no guarantee nobody can see the future we could see a correction uh, a few weeks after Neo day but there is a big catalyst coming up in March on March 9 2021 Neo will be releasing their Q4 2020 earning result on March 9th so look out for that but this date could change and this March 9 earning date for Neo I found it through tipranks.com they looked at the previous earnings and they just predicted that's gonna happen on March 9 but that's not a set date yet but most likely Neo will be announcing their earnings around the first week of March and since they have a record breaking deliveries in Q4 2020 their earnings released in March will most likely drive the stock price even more so uh, I do see that next week Neo will be going up but uh, a few weeks later Neo could be you know dropping or there could be a correction and then after that uh, I don't see any other catalyst besides their earnings uh, which is in March so Neo could be trading sideways but I could be wrong Neo could you know keep going up to the moon who knows by the way Joe Biden will be sworn into the office and become the 47th president of the United States of America and as some of you know uh, this is known information 
Joe Biden and his administration is pro electric vehicle and pro renewable energy. So January 20th could be huge as well for NEO stock and other EV stock as well. And hopefully I am right and you guys will be richly entertained. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.